Hello there, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Taurus for the week starting the 16th of July. Now this week there are some T-squares. There is a cardinal square. There, it's not boring, it's very interesting. These things happen in the skies and they shake us to our core. They are asking us to bring together all the different sides of our personality and to synthesize them to become one rather than separate parts of the whole that we are, to understand ourselves on a deeper level. Now, your T-square on the 16th is Uranus in the 12th, squaring Pluto in the 9th, squaring Mars in the 6th, opposite Uranus in the 12th. But basically, the 12th house is all about a kind of sense of spirituality. Um, so that Uranus is going, boom, who are you as a spiritual being on the earth? And how are you manifesting that in your daily life? And Mars is going, no, I have to be practical. I have to be very serious. I'm not interested in all that airy fairy stuff. So two sides of your inner being may be clashing. Your kind of idealistic view of your life and your practical, possibly self-critical, controlling view of yourself. And your job, if you choose to accept it, is to bring these two seemingly opposing forces together rather than being split down the middle or arguing with yourself or indeed other people. Now the Cardinal Grand Cross on the 17th is Uranus in the 12th opposing Mars in the 6th and Moon in the 3rd opposite Pluto in the 9th. On the one hand there's a part of you that wants to be wild and adventurous and be a pioneer and there's another side of you that wants to stay stuck, permanently rooted to home and your original ideas. And as we know, Taurians are very fond of a long-held idea or a long-held love. But there could be another part of your spirit that's giving you a call to the wild and saying, come on, you know that there is more going on outside and inside yourself. And it's time to take a risk and cross that frontier and be you. It won't necessarily be easy this week, but... What's interesting is that all those emotions connected to the Grand Trine are going to come to the surface and you'll look at all the opposing things within yourself, and possibly externally, friends that don't get on, your lover doesn't get on with your mate, you know, all these different seeming opposing forces come together for you to resolve it. And it's not happening for any old reason. It's happening to help you synthesize and awaken to the common thread between all those opposing forces. Then... At, well, this couldn't follow on better, Kiki, because we have a new moon in the third house. And what's the third house? The third house is the house of communication. So you are stepping in. The new moon is all about a new beginning, stepping into a new phase. And this particular week, you're stepping into a new phase of communicating. Maybe you are freeing yourself from the chains of previous ways of communicating, often Taurians, well, all of us actually, but Taurians in particular can maybe get into a particular way of communicating even when they don't mean it. It's that certain stubbornness, that's the shadow side. You know, the other side is, of course, loyalty. But if there's anything in your life that's been holding you back in the way that you communicate, you can go, I surrender and I step through on this new moon to a new way of being. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.